Hey y'all. So it's Cammy's Cam and I'm back because I just got the shock of a lifetime. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. As you can see by the title, maybe you can't. I don't know what the title is going to be yet. But I was downstairs um, in my home and I had to urinate. So I grabbed my phone, I came upstairs, and you know, regular urine, then I go to wipe, and I look at the tissue. And there it is, bright red, Auntie Flo. It's not the best surprise, but it's what I've been waiting on. So usually my cycle is 33 days, but like y'all know, I have PCOS, so that's due to change. But like, for the past year or so... It's usually between 33 and 36 days, but it usually comes on around like day 33, 34, 35, usually 33. And mind you, today's only cycle day 26. Now last month, I don't think I did a video about this with you guys, but last month, my period supposedly, surprisingly came on cycle day 20. Like cycle day 20, that's really soon. And, I mean, it didn't bother me because I wasn't trying or anything, and I wasn't trying this month. But we've been thinking about doing IUI again, possibly just one more time for a second, second round. So we didn't even make our minds up yet. Um, but I was pretty sure I was going to do it. And so, for that reason, on today I just called the doctor's office and let them know it was cycle day one. I also told them that they did not return my call yet to take my payments. And usually you cannot start anything, none of the process, unless you make the, pay the full payment before you start. I told them I've been calling, leaving voicemails, I hadn't heard anything back, so that's not my fault. She was like, okay, we'll take care of it, I'll get in touch with somebody. But you go ahead and come in on in two days so they want me to come in on cycle day number three because today is cycle day one tomorrow will be two so yeah they want me to come in on cycle day three for labs and ultrasound so yes they're going to do another vaginal ultrasound while my cycle's on i hate that but that's what they want that's what they get so um yeah today's cycle day one now i'll just keep you all updated she said she went ahead and made sure that both the pharmacies had what I needed, so I'm going to do the Alcadrill shot again, the 250, I believe. And I'm going to do the Letrozole, um, or AKA Femera. I'm going to do that cycle day, I think cycle day 3 through 7, unless they tell me to change it on Sunday. But as of now, I'm going to do that cycle day 3 through 7. I'm going to ask the doctor all the questions I need to know, because last time I felt so lost, I feel like, I had to ask all the questions, so hopefully my doctor, I only saw my doctor like one time, maybe twice, last time, I didn't like that, I'd rather just see the same person every time, but clearly that doesn't happen, so hopefully she's there for cycle day one and I can get all the questions off my mind and she can actually explain stuff better so I can understand like the scanning, because if anybody understands all those follicle can't scans and eggs and sizes and stuff, Please help me because I don't get it. I don't get it. I try not to worry myself and go Googling and searching. So if anybody can maybe even share a video, tag a, tag me in a video, a quick video of like, what does it mean when they're saying you have 16 and, you know, whatever they be saying. Just a video to explain your vaginal ultrasound and maybe the labs too. That would be helpful for me. And then if you all let me know, hopefully I can let you know and I can be correct in what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I am supposedly, I hadn't went to the follow-up or the scan yet, but my plan is to do IUI if all the payments and stuff go right. Um, me and my husband are excited for round two. Um, and then after that, we'll just see how it goes from there. But... I just wanted to tell y'all that big surprise. It was a surprise to me that my period came on early again, which is not normal. I um, mean, again, for all those girls out there like me, I did not ovulate, supposedly. I went and bought some more strips, as y'all can see. I just randomly took one yesterday, and it said negative for my OPK. Um, but I don't think I ovulated because I hadn't had any egg white mucus 
this cycle or last cycle with these quick periods, with, with these quick cycles. I hadn't had any egg whites since I'm, since like the month before last. So I don't know what's going on with my body. It's probably doomed because I have not been treating it right because I said F it. Excuse my language even though I didn't curse. But that's how I felt. I just didn't care about nothing. I just wanted to live life, be free. That was my main focus last month was just to be free and let go. And with that letting go, I've probably been eating junk food and doing what I want to do. Drinking. <laughs> whatever you say. Whatever you name it. That's probably what I've been, well, I mean nothing like, no drugs and all that. But, you know, i just been living my best life. Going out, having fun. So, with that being said, maybe that's why my body is how it is right now. But, I'm about to get in gear. My husband brought my bike inside. Not like an outside that you go riding bike, but a just an exercise bike that you stay in one place and you sit down. He brought that out inside for me so I can use that. And now I got to get back on my healthy game, eating my salad every day, my cucumbers, and treat my body right. So I will keep you all updated with my journey and wish me the best of luck. And just let me know if you have any questions. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you guys later. I think that's all I got to say. Alright, bye.